What's up, party people? Jude Snowboarder here from uh, Facebook, Jude's Junk uh, Shop, Facebook Shop, and YouTube channel. Just got through receiving, processing, and pricing. A uh, hundred some bucks. <laughs> kind of exhausting. <laughs> a lot of money. Uh, now I got you know, the task of selling them. Anyway, someone just asked a good question about pressing your books. What's it entail? What are the costs? And I got to tell you, I was made aware very early on press and clean so cgc's pressing arm is ccs they don't clean they just press and i think they do a different type of press i think they do a cold press versus a heat press maybe uh, same with cbcs so um for the most part i will do pressing uh through a third-party presser uh, usually the turnaround times are much faster usually not in the case with CGC SS, but I'll talk about that. So for the $10 it takes to press, price has gone up because of inflation, but it used to be 10 for the last year. Um, even a half a grade bump, you're gonna make your $10 back. So it's an it's 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 a no brainer. Spend the money, get it pressed. My presser will find a book, he'll find something I missed and be like, dude, you don't wanna send this in, there's a rip on it just saved me 30, 40, 50 bucks. Okay, great, so he mails it back. My presser has also become an advocate. He goes to conventions, gets me new books that I can, conventions I can't go to. Um, he has uh, worked with me and I've helped him and we've become a real good strategic partnership. So I'm a big fan of finding a quality presser, learn from them, learn how to grade, rely on them. Um, and find someone you trust. Some of that's trial and error. Some of that is getting referrals. I got a referral to a guy. I didn't like the service I got, so I went somewhere else. But that's the name of the game. Don't send your biggest and best comic books in if you're still trying to find a, a press you like. That was my mistake. I sent my biggest ones in first, thinking I would cash out. But um, they become an advocate. They press. They clean. Um, some of the pressers have cheaper prices, much longer turnaround times. Some of them have higher prices, less turnaround times. Um, my presser lives right next door to CBCS and I was a big fan of CBCS a year ago and he would walk all my books over. So I was worried about shipping them to a presser, him pressing them, then he has to pack them up and ship them again because there's pilferage and there's theft and damage in transit and there's two transits going on. So a lot of room for error and things that get lost because my first presser lost a book of mine. Um, so things can get lost, pilferage, damaged. Um, so he lived next door to CBCS, so I loved that and picked him because of that. And he just walked my books over and didn't have to worry about anything getting damaged in transit. So that was great until CBCS is a year behind on $14 slabs, $16 slabs. And I missed my window of selling all those books a year ago because CBCS doesn't have their act together. So now I'm doing CGC pretty much 100%, except for signature verification. And then I'll pretty much do fast pass, unless it's not worth it. So anyways, I highly suggest you find one you find you trust, trial and error, um, have good friends in the community you can rely on. They'll tell you who the, tr the pressers are, just getting stuff off Facebook. You don't know what kind of uh, referrals you're getting. Um, yeah, you're gonna ship it to them, you're gonna pay for shipping, they're gonna ship it to CGC or CBCS, you're gonna pay for that shipping too. Um, but for signature series, they can put a bag around it, you know, you have to cut a window bag around the signature series books, they'll usually do that for you for like $5. Um, you'll learn about pressing through them, you'll learn about grading through them, so I highly suggest you find a presser you like. And I still use CC, CGC SS, for pressing, and I've learned this. With the pressing at CGC after a signature series or a private signing, pressing only is gonna take you three or four weeks. It's 20 bucks, three or four weeks. And especially when I had six signatures on like the last Ronin, six different people touching the book, I wanted them to press it again because one little fingerprint can go from a 9.6 down to a 9.0. I learned that on a Crow One the hard way. So, um, so yeah, I might be doing press and sign beforehand and uh, press and sign after one for some of the big books. I just cracked a 9.8 Wolverine 1 for two signatures, came back a 9.6. I wish I would have done the, the $20 CCS pressing. Anyways, man, 
Good luck hunting. Happy hunting. See ya.